Today we're going to show you how to change the motor and pulley on your washer, and it's a really easy job. All you're going to need is a putty knife, a 5 16 nut driver, and a quarter inch nut driver, a small flat blade screwdriver, a pair of slip joint pliers, and a 3 8 socket and ratchet. Let me show you how we do it. Now the first step of this repair will be to lift the main top and then remove the front panel. There's a couple of spring clips that are in about four inches from either side that we need to release to lift the main top. So the thin putty knife will come in from the center till we feel an obstruction and then depress the spring with the putty knife. Then carefully lift the top and we'll want to position the washer so that we can either lean the main top against the wall or have somebody support it while we're doing the repair. Next we're going to remove two 5 16 hex edge screws that secure the top of the front panel to the cabinet. Now we'll tilt the front panel away at the top and then we'll disengage a couple of hooks that are attached to the base frame and then we can remove the front panel and set it aside. Now to remove the motor, it's held in place with two 3 8 bolts, one on the front and one on the rear and we'll need to remove this ground wire as well and it's held in place with two quarter inch screws that hold it both to the motor base frame and to the washer base frame. So we'll begin by taking that harness off. I'll take note that the quarter inch screw that secures the ground wire to the washer base is a self-tapping screw and the one that secures it to the motor base frame is a machine screw. Next we're going to remove the 3 8 bolt at the front and then we're going to rotate that motor forward. If you can't get the motor forward enough to access that rear bolt, you may need to tilt the washer at this point and roll the drive belt off of the motor pulley. And we're just going to reach in behind and we're going to locate that 3 8 bolt. It's identical to the one on the front. Just pull that bolt out and set that aside. Now we can lift that motor free of the base frame. Again, if it's caught on that belt, we'll need to roll the belt off of the pulley first and then just pull it out far enough that we can access the two screws that secure the motor cover in place. Number 5 16 screw and simply lift the cover off, set that aside and now we can take a flat blade screwdriver and we'll unhook the locking tabs to the wire harness and then simply pull that wire harness off the motor and then we can take the motor completely out of the washer base frame. Now to transfer the original motor base to the new motor, we'll need to remove these two 3 8 nuts and the sliders as well as the tension spring. Now the tension spring, just take a pair of slip joint pliers and we're just going to disengage the bottom of it from the motor, pull it out, and let it tilt sideways, and then unhook it from the motor base. And we will be reusing that. So we'll just set it aside. Next we'll remove the 3 8 nuts. We'll set those aside and keep the sequence of the flat steel washer, the rubber mount, and the nylon slide all in order. And then we'll just slide it out over the motor pulley. the rest of that assembly and set that aside and we'll also remove the glide pad from the bottom of the motor just pulls straight out of the motor housing it's a rubber bushing so it's fairly snug in there and then we can discard the old motor 
Now with the new motor, we'll start by putting in the slide. And you may have to moisten that rubber portion of that to make it fit into the opening. Just a little bit of dish soap. It's a good lubricant for that. And it will actually go in easier if you can remove the nylon slide first, then press the rubber mount in. And you'll notice that there is a bulbous shape to that glide and then just force that in and that part is installed. Next we'll reassemble the nylon and rubber mounts. Put the bottom portions of them on. Next we'll install the actual motor mount. Slide it around the pulley first. and then carefully reassemble. Making sure the nylon glides sit inside of the slotted openings. The rubber mount next, flat washer. <clears throat> Once the flat washer is in place, take the steel washer, set that flush on top of it, and reinstall the 3 8 nut. And then we'll do the opposite side. Again, make sure that we center up that nylon bushing so that it sits inside the slot. Next, the rubber mount, the flat steel washer, and then the 3 8 nut. Tighten those securely. Make sure that it pivots freely and then we're ready to reinstall the spring. So we'll take the hook portion of the spring first, insert it through the opening in the top, rotate it around, just compress it enough until it snaps into both the notch on the motor base and the notch on top of the motor. And now we're ready to reinstall the motor assembly into the washer. Now when reinstalling the motor, we're first going to just tuck that harness out of the way, enough that we can set the motor partially into position. And we will reconnect the wire harness, make sure that locking tabs engage on both sides. And just pull it out far enough that we can get the cover on it. And we'll reinstall those 5 16 hex head screws. Now we'll carefully set that motor down into the opening in the base and rotate it around so that the Holes line up for the mounting bolts. We'll slide one into the front and we'll just start that bolt. And we can pivot that motor around enough. We'll insert the bolt from the rear. Now tighten the rear one securely. Rotate the motor around so we can access the front one. We can snug that one up now. Now next we need to install the ground wire. So just pull it around beneath that motor cover. And with the quarter inch hex head machine thread screw, we'll put that one in the motor base frame. And we need to make sure that that screw is tight. And then we'll install the one in the base. And that's a self-tapping screw. Now we're ready to put the front panel back on. And then we can turn the machine upside down and install the drive belt. Now to reinstall the front panel, we want to make sure that we engage those slotted holes on the bottom of the front panel with the clips that are attached to the base frame. We also have a couple of locating pins, one on each side, that will have a nylon insert that slides over those. Make sure those are both in position before we install the panel. And then as you raise the panel into position, make sure that those pins line up with the appropriate hole and then hold it in position and we'll start the 5 16 screws to secure it. Make sure both of those screws are tight. 
and also check there is two locating pins on the top of that front panel that will engage two holes in the main top. And there's also a rubber gasket that fits down over those pins. Make sure those are both in position. And carefully lower the main top. Line up those pins and then press the top into position so that the spring clips catch. Now that we have the rear access panel and the front panel and the top installed, our repair is complete.